Welcome. This is my 1 Hz pulse frequency generator with a 555 chip, which I made last time. And I wanted to do, like I said, I had it flashing, and I wanted to do a little bit more uh, exercise with it. Because it's pulse, I want to see if it will turn this, this magnet around. So this coil uh, has got 8 ohms on it, just a um, wire out of um, one of the relays that I break up more often than not. And I'm going to connect it to number three, which is the output here. And I'm going to connect it to the negative, which is what it says I'm supposed to do. According to the diagram anyway. And as you can see, this is uh, this one. Now I know I know one thing. It has to be flashing. And it's not flashing, and I don't think it's going to work. No. Okay, I'm going to do something which I'm doesn't say I'm supposed to do. I'm going to put it to positive. See as it's flashing now, I need to flash very the high frequency. Here we go. Put it to positive and still flashing. Now let's see. And there you go. It's working fine. Um, I did experiment before, so I know it wouldn't work with the negative, but I just wanted to show you that it didn't, even though the diagram shows me I'm supposed to put it to the negative. Maybe I've done something wrong, I don't know, but it certainly works when you connect it to positive to number three out of the chip. Working fine. So that's what I wanted to achieve, really. So if you, if I change this frequency a bit, it will stop. If I make it go slow, it stops. Okay, I'm using a, a bigger ball bearing to see if that works. Well, I'm amazed it's working because it didn't work before. Okay, I'm going to do a little experiment. I'll put three on instead of two. See if that works. Oh, it seems to be working fine. Ish. It's not 100% spinning right properly. I'm not sure if the poles are positive or negative. Oh, okay. So if I leave that there. Well, there you go, it's working fine. Now the problem is, would it work with this? I'm really pleased with this circuit because uh, I wanted to see if a 555 timer worked as a pulse generator and I'm only supplying 6 volts. It's supposed it can take 9 volts uh, but 6 volts works fine. I tried 3 volts and it didn't work very good at all so I'm very pleased with this circuit indeed. Okay, I'm going to try it with this. I didn't find it to work but let's have a go. Well, I don't, I don't think it's working. I think it's intermittent working 
sometimes or not. Um, I'm not too sure. Not, not too sure why that is, but I'm sure you guys know. I might be able to enlighten on this. Uh, I like this to work with this circuit. If I put these down a bit, maybe. It might just be the frequency it's at, or the core is not large enough. No. Anyway, that's my experiments for now. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and the other, the other word. Did you just make that ball spin around on your thing? Yeah, that's what I made today. Did you make that one go?